Okay, let's start. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. This is the Ginger and Puma podcast, a show I just created and might never do again. <laughs> so today, that surprise witness finally got a hold of a video, a body cam footage. FOIA is a very wonderful thing. Um, guys, the video footage you're about to see is very disturbing. Um, you guys know, you know, I follow the free band movement, um, which turned into the kind of like justice for Amanda Rabb movement and the who is Lima Vavrimovich movement mm -hmm. and who's lying and who's telling the truth. And this is public record. And this is public record. Please do not send hate anybody's way. These are all our opinions. Everything's all alleged. We're going to do a reaction to this body cam footage. But you can also link in the description is the original video that she did from that surprise witness. And then the body cam footage is of uh, Dia and Dahlia Takala. They were um, very successful YouTubers. They have um, been in videos with like mainstream celebrities. And right now um, they are not on YouTube. Um, and this uh, video footage is body cam footage of Dahlia Takali um, and her mother. And we'll go from there. We're just going to react to it, guys. Okay. I'll hit play and then I'll start. And they'll be started. To me and this member. is her little disclaimer. And oh, is available to witness. anyone or who can make the same public records request. The purpose of this video is transparency and accountability. And we have watched this a few times, so we're kind of ready really for going on And what really That's happened important. with Lima and these twins. Please do not contact or attempt to contact any person mentioned in this video. If you would like to address... This is videos, the kind of content that really touches my heart. I connect to it on a so personal level and um, because I struggle with my mental health. About to walk up to the door. Hello. Watch, watch mom's hand. Watch Linda's hand. Who are you on the phone with? Huh? Oh my you don't see that phone for the rest of the video. Can we come inside? She said suffocated, and the we officer said choked. Okay. And then she said, yeah, yeah, choked. Yeah, you'll see a lot of op the officers change some things around as it's going. They'll manipulate the whole situation. Where, where, is, she? where is she? There's a criteria of what these people have to say to get somebody to get incarcerated. Okay. Just hey, remember Dahlia? that. Dahlia. Hey, it's the Tulsa police. We need to talk to you. Okay, well, we still have to talk to you, so we need you to get out of this. It doesn't, it doesn't work like that. She's trying to say she doesn't want to talk. The mom's in there hysterically crying or. Hey, ma'am, do you need an ambulance? Do you need, you don't need an ambulance? Okay. Mom, that's really hard to understand. Okay. Let, me, let me see if you have anything in your neck. Okay. She almost died, babe. She, you know, she, she couldn't died. breathe. Well, my 100 pounds doesn't let you real put her in a chokehold. Oh okay, okay. Is, is it just your one daughter here? Is it just Dahlia? Yeah, the other one. She's in this like hospital. You she know, she's a babe. I called the cops to talk to her. So, so I'm gonna. She was losing it she was gonna pick me up. Well, that was the three-hour, uh, however many hours we must have been on the phone coaching them what to say about you sure you what personality stored her to get the other one put in a hospital. Yeah, I was sure Lima was on that phone. She admits to it on uh, Soft White Underbelly. Ah. She said the girl had DID and was switching and had multiple personality disorder. Hi, Are you dressed? Oh, yeah. I want to open that door. You tapped that one. bleeding? What happened? Are you not bleeding? No. Okay. What's going on? What happened? Hello. Tonight? So she has all of her devices, her phone, everything set up to me. Mm -hmm. And so I literally asked her if she would go for a drive because she spends 24-7 stalking me. Actually, she will never leave me alone. 
and I'm really peaceful. I just spent all my time in my room, and, and she's always praying me and calling the police and saying, I heard her on the phone and saying, she's crazy. Oh my gosh, I'm so traumatized. She's just like her sister, blah, blah. I'm like, I'm nothing like them. I was normal. I asked her two and a half years ago to leave me alone. <laughs> and she literally just stalked me. This place smells like it's burning on fire 24-7, and I can't breathe. And if I step outside to go to Okay, what part of this sounds unbelievable to you? She sounds terrified and she's like, to me, she sounds like a person that is used to not being believed and she's trying to fit everything into like one sentence, mm -hmm. you know, and, and she sounds completely believable to me. Some of the stuff I can't believe what she's about to say here in a minute. Y'all, they made the words pop on the screen, maybe they won't. And if you're sensitive to topics of... SEX trafficking. Yeah. But uh yeah, when she starts making the accusations, I can't believe the cops just throw this out the door. I'm like, oh, we're not even listening to those accusations. These are very, so. very serious accusations, guys. So we count on the front porch, she literally goes walks to watch us through the curtains, opens the door, it's really in time. I said, I'm gonna call the police on the blah blah. Sounds she's like a handler to me. With lies about me to the police. And then she starts crying, going, oh, I'm so traumatized. Oh, I'm free. Y'all got it somewhere in the house. There's nothing in the wall. Just breathe for a second. She's getting aggressive. She's hurting me. And I'm like, that's true. Talia, breathe. Take some breaths. Take some breaths. Basically, guys, she's explaining to them how when she tries to get help, you know, her mom gets on the phone, starts screaming that she's being abused and 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 hurt and um, all this stuff, but it's not true. And I've been in a situation like that before, too, where I was on the phone with somebody and they were telling another person that I was saying all these things that I didn't say. And I'm screaming into the phone like this, you know, like screaming, this isn't true. I'm not saying that, you know, and this just sucks. Okay. In and out. Are you okay? Yeah. She's Thank panicking. You know, I just want her to go to jail. And the original yeah. uploader blurred this out been for the section of dog. What happened? Pin me? that. She's been asking for this for two and a half years for her mama to go to jail. Because she has everything linked up to me. So I asked her to leave her phone here. And then she These cops saying in the list. He's up for home. And then I took the phone and I locked myself in the bathroom. And then she broke that door trying to come in and kill me. And then she starts crying, going, ah, help me, help me. She's trying to kill me. And I'm like, I'm like, trying to hide in the bathroom. And she literally won't leave me alone without her phone. And she started freaking out and crying. And she has all of her devices set up to me. This place is like set up like a production house. It's the freakiest thing like ever. <laughs> she literally just lives to just kill me, resurrect me, kill me, resurrect me a million times, send rape this out for me okay. like this huffing did, thing and all the stem you, cells from her from my hey, attack on her and it smells disgusting and then hey. i don't want to help her i can't deal with it so like, i feel like i'm about to cry she says i'm being she says she's a bit saying that to these cops yeah i'm here okay I just want her to go to jail. Okay. Did you guys get in a physical fight tonight? Yeah. The what? door is broken in the other bathroom. Okay. okay. That's what I'm saying. She's so strong. Okay. Listen to the how she says she's so strong. Because here in a minute, you're going to hear her mother yeah, yeah, parrot those said. exact like, words. Where did she? So can you tell me? Because these are little apartment know. walls. You can hear everything. Like I said, I asked her if she would go for a drive. Mm -hmm. So I could get a break from her. And then she starts being like, don't talk to me this way. And I'm like, talk to you like what? Healthy people in normal lives? Literally, don't get go, you go straight. And the other crazy. twin was right. in the media she because she ran, ran away or uh, escaped, in my opinion. She wants out. She wants to escape. Being held hostage by her. Mm -hmm. And then I just feel like I'm being raped 24 7 by people because of sex trafficking and stuff. Mm -hmm. And she because doesn't know anything said. about sex. Well, I don't know. She's like the one doing it. And she like sends rapists after me and it's like programs my stem cells and it's like ridiculous. Mm -hmm. But I just feel like I don't know what's going on 24 7 because I don't feel anything and I don't have any of my medications and she does all of it on purpose. Like I have no sensations at all. Mm -hmm. So I can't tell when someone's touching me. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. so then I'm like, what? I'll just be like, what's going on? So I remember when Lithium made me feel that way. Yeah. And I get scared and die. There's people fucking you 24 7, but I can't tell. I can't tell. God damn. Right. At all. When was, yeah. the, when was the last time she allowed you to get 
And you over here, that lady come up here again and be like, I've been here before. I can't wait till they get his body cam footage. I know. They released the 911 call. They did release one. Why is this room so plain, Jane? I mean, these were very successful, like, YouTubers that made a lot of money. Like, where is anything that they, like, all the personal items? Where's the stuff on the counter in the uh, bathroom? I'm crying before. What, what's crying your before. name, ma'am? You caught that, too? Linda, okay. I've been out here before, I think. I think when Dahlia it's ran crossing, away. Like, I've been here before. <laughs> but how come Linda don't yeah, recognize her? Yeah, Linda don't recognize her. She came Jane, back, yeah. Oh, she got lost, but came back. And <laughs> Or track down there's allegedly. Some water over in the corner and some bottle below, and there's a few. They don't even have a garbage can. Was it in this bathroom? In here? Oh, she just said she was so strong. Now pay attention to how she put her arm around her neck in a chokehold. I can barely understand mommy. Well, she's pretending that she can't hardly talk, but her she starts crying over octave levels that you can't achieve. Does she you know I this let me pause this real quick? If somebody's choking your life away and you're scared they're killing you, they you've seen fear like the like she said this girl switched and it was like nothing she'd seen before. You know, that kind of choking causes blood vessels in the eyes to pop it mm. causes like slobbering you know your nose is running your eyes would definitely be watering yeah on dancetron is this the only medication that she takes okay this is just these are zofran they're for her stomach so take her medication Sorry about the messenger, guys. I just turned it off. Okay, so you feel like it makes it worse? So friend does what? Okay. So friend makes you drowsy, though. It's for nausea is what it's for. Okay. So word pop up. Where's the tears? I've been out here, I've been out here before. With and Jane, you know, every time she says something, she covers them. Sorry, them. Body language yeah. experts, anybody? Yes. Yeah, you know, don't they say when people lie, they cover their mouth? Yeah. After the last time I was out here, because um, you had uh, your daughter, your other daughter was on the phone, I believe. Yeah, yeah Lima was on the phone so coaching her what to say the last time all that, because so they were trying to get I the other one. And I, they were trying to get the other twin um, is having schizophrenia. See, Lima, she's running this uh, virtual reality um, treatment program thing. And her first victim, uh, I mean, her first patient. Amanda Rabb um, was her case study, died one month later. And this lady is had BAM in a conservatorship. Yeah, and what's the first rule to get conservatorship? Yeah, if you go to South White Underbelly's channel, um, they premiere Lima a lot. And she has a whole rule book of how to put people into conservatorships. And the first step is pretty much make them choose between jail or a conservatorship. And we're about to see that and, go down. And if you notice, because I've seen the BAM body cam, cam footage also where they tried to get old uh, Aunt Missy over there to um, tell the police what to say to get BAM incarcerated. And if you notice in the beginning, she's got that cell phone in her hand. Um, they're telling her, you have to say certain things so the criteria meets getting arrested. Yeah. So that's why you'll notice she's saying, I'm in fear for my life. Okay. I digress. Kind of went down the whole rabbit hole of, of everything that's going on. Because they're blaming it on the internet for making people be woke. Yeah, I saw that. It all needs I exposed. That. I'm sorry. In a very public way. And they're struggling. They're struggling. But 
And then the medication and everything else is creating more anxiety. Why is she saying creating more anxiety and feeding this lady what to go for? Yeah, this cop does feed. It's a lot of personal things being publicized, and that's not fair. He's talking about the online stuff being publicized. Even though Lima had hashtag sex trafficking in her instagram thing way before anybody ever even knew who the lady was over here and it's, it's on top of all of that in the free band movement and that they, this is the last thing they need i'm so sorry yeah this is so crazy i'm so sorry i so and what are those things on the ceiling in certain places i don't know you'll see them in the bedroom here in a minute I don't see any here. Has she made any statements to you about wanting to kill herself? Or... Well, sometimes she said she attacked me. Sometimes she attacked she, me. Yeah, that, that, that's how she answered that question. Does she threaten to harm herself? The cop's trying to lead her into a thing. Well, the little girl in the bathroom just told them about crimes against her. Yeah. I need so, to marking, okay. The cops trying to set up an two EOD. things can be true about. at one time, people. You can be crazy sure. and still be telling the truth. Yeah. I, I'd rather go in that room if you're okay no. with it, just because he's a male officer. And you will hear the cops talk about to doing surprise. EOD. Oh wait, this this part's very important. I just wanted to see their chest and see if there's some marks on it. Did you? Did you? you black out at any point? I was. Oh, oh my God. So we just told the lady, okay, she's being shown she's in a chokehold by this chick that weighs maybe 90 pounds. But then, you know, because the cop's telling her around the throat and 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 passing out, she's going to agree. Out? All of a sudden, yeah, she blacked out. Notice no laptop on the bed. I want you to notice that part. We'll look, We'll get to that later. There's no laptop nowhere around. I got cell phone just here. Okay. Is that the water that's all over the? Yeah, it's just that chemical. Okay. Probably trying to escape from you. All right, I'm gonna look at this side too. Okay. Now there's some parts of this we haven't okay. seen yet because we were busy doing other stuff. Okay. Okay. All right, and because there's some the long answer, parts okay. in here that we'll have to turn off. Yeah, there's a few parts where we know that they're they're doing just standing just there. Standing around. It's not going to be mental hospital. That's not where she'll go. Ma'am, at this point, I'm she seems like she's you. smiling or. So happy with herself that this is because this is the outcome she was told had to happen. The cop is already starting off with a jail situation. That's going to change her in a little bit. So somehow, there's, like that there's something change. comforting I can tell you that when she goes to jail, she'll see she'll go to a, she'll see a judge, and then judge can recommend mental. Health. She stopped crying really fast. And that way, a lot of times the sentences instead of her getting charged with the felony or whatever, they may say. Okay, Cops already say she's going to jail. That doesn't happen. For a little while. And I don't think it's the worst idea, because I think that she's got a lot of of inner things she's got to work out. I know. You told me the last time I was out here, you, you're trying your best. Listen, but they're. Like you just said, she's covering her eyes. She's covering her mouth. That's not your daughter. If I was choked to death, I would be covering my throat. I'd be protecting my throat. Mm -hmm. You know, and and like, wouldn't you have bruises from that? Like she was was passing out. For your girls, we'll see what she tells her other. What what she says to the other cop here in a minute. But when she commits a felony and tries to kill you. We don't have tries to kill you oh yeah that's I'm right i forgot officer, look at your neck and make sure that it's not just that's right she was supposedly but I unalived the marks on your neck. but i think i see more i think neck, i see she no, thinks she sees marks just hang tight for a you would see it or you wouldn't see she it just she goes go she tells the other cop go, go see if you see what i see oh no ad sorry guys yeah can happen at the worst time.
she tells her dog, go see if you see what I think I see, or some bullshit like that. I'm still missed. Where's the towels? Where's the body spray and the perfume and the makeup bags? Where's any of that? I was trying to look in the mirror and you don't see anything around. Well, if you were being filmed and you don't want anything that can, you know, tie you back to something else, everything would be blank like that. Okay, I think it's a little minute where we don't, there's not going to be anything happening. The cop just stands here. Well, you guys pay attention to the ledge of that bathtub and you'll see men's body wash in the corner. If that's not sus. I know, it's very sus. Well, it's, it's okay. I mean, it's not, would it be unusual for a female to use a male's body wash? I mean, if, if she liked the scent, I mean. Possibly, but yeah. with, you know, the other things that we're hearing in this video, and I know that this chick is being guarded. I mean, it just is very sus when you look at the big picture. Some kind of probably cleaner. Yeah, probably cleaner. But there's nothing in the bathroom. No toothpaste, no toothbrushes. Nothing like that. You don't see anything like that. It, it's almost a normal like female's a motel bathroom. or a, a normal, hotel room. A normal female's bathroom would have makeup on that counter, a few other items, hair care products. Mine would. A surprise witness would have her, her pink little... Um, ears on like you said no towel hanging on the towel hanger so yeah this it just house doesn't look very stuff. lived in <laughs> even the shower curtain, curtain should, is just a straight we should white. probably skip ahead we can uh or fill in the blanks way back to the, let's see if we we like it doing this. This is her just standing here for a long period of time. Yeah. Guys, this this content truly touches my heart because hey, I have it all, Patrick. Oh wait. I still have their info, Patrick. Yep. I want to there's one point where she goes outside and calls her boss. Because she doesn't know what to do. They want the cops do they'll call their boss because they're not sure exactly what to do. They'll put people in handcuffs, detain people, and they're not supposed to. This is breaking my heart. She doesn't know why she's going to jail. That's the law. That's the law. See, this the port said this girl just made in this bathtub should have been taken seriously. Part, listen, Dolly, a part of our job is to listen to both sides, okay? The side you See, guys just, just created. Away as she's pleading her case. Walk away like who cares? And she's clean. It's so hard to hear these officers. Oh, this is where she calls her her uh, uh, her supervisor because she has no clue what to do. Because she's being told about crimes and not doing anything about it, but she's going to make up marks on Mama over yeah, there. I don't think she mentions to the supervisor that the girl's claiming to be R-worded and traffic. Hey. Uh, do you remember the Dahlia twins? Okay. So she choked mom tonight and mom's got I wonder how much tonight. money Aura donates to the police department there. That and you can FOIA your request a phone EOD. call too. Um, but wow. she is EOD funny. is emergency order of detention. Like a make her act in Florida. Sex trafficking and being raped and yada yada yada. So if we take her yada here, yada yada. Oh yeah, she, she, she did bring up, but she's like, Yeah, she's saying this stuff and yada yada yada. Like she's saying. But yes. my thought is, is that in this specific situation, I feel like an EOD probably trumps. See, she thinks that it should be an EOD and not jail, but to to fit the, you know, don't they have to take her to jail? That's the conservatorship but she guidebook, right? Injury. So oh, yeah. it's like they're trying to come up with, you know, this whole, like, she was choked, she's choked to death. 
I mean, like a server ship can begin with the EOD situation. Yes. But they still write her that, that so it, it would just ticket be an or EOD that, uh, and then write up the fel or like write up, yeah, the write up the felony. It's almost like they're arrested, but they're just signing a piece of paper. Mm-hmm. So she'll still be charged. I think, I, I think and they were saying something to the mom later on about. No, yeah, mom doesn't want him to go jail at all. Like I said, we haven't, I haven't seen all of it, so we'll just yeah. be reacting. Um, but mom is terrified. Yeah, she's terrified. Okay, and I'll do two reports, then an EOD report. Terrified that she'll fuck assault. this up Okay. from what she was coached to do and say. Okay. All right, thank you. Allegedly. Okay, I talked to my supervisor, and um, so in this specific situation, because she would prefer her to get mental health help versus going to jail, we are willing to, we'll still have to do it. She just doesn't look like somebody that was in the fight for her life. have no choice but to do that. Um, but What did she say? We'll have no choice but to say you were assaulted? Yeah, I wanted to, she had no choice in doing the report and all that stuff. And She's also like, from okay, I'm gonna pay attention. And raped and yada yada yada. So if we take her to David Elf, she's gonna have to go get a full same because of the. Ma'am, okay. I talked to my supervisor, and um, so in this specific situation, because she would prefer her to get mental health help versus going to jail, we are willing to. We we'll still have to do a report that she assaulted you. We have no choice but to do that. Um, but we will do um, an emergency order of detention, which I believe was done on your other daughter, um, which is when they, they came and take took yeah. her. Correct. Okay. Do you know which hospital they took her to? Oh, she was surprised. Okay. And they were supposed to tell us for TCBH. Okay. Um, so we have a couple of options here. She will probably have to take her to St. Francis first, um, unless you would prefer St. John. Okay. Uh, St. Francis is the closest to here. She stopped covering her mouth because she's found the truth now. They're evaluated at St. Francis, and I don't have any doubt she will be going to um, Laureate. Have you, do you know where you come or yeah, it's a great hospital. Um, it's probably one of the best ones we have. Um, if I if I were in your shoes, I would want my child to go to Laureate. Um, so, and it's right next door to St. Francis. It's also a very short drive, so you could go visit her. She'll probably be there for a little while. Okay. I think that more than anything, you need peace for a little while without your girls. And they're both going to be in a safe place right now. And that is probably the, I don't know when the last time you've got peace in your home okay i know and you, you deserve that so let's let's get them some help i'm not saying it's a forever it's not gonna i don't know that it will fix the problems but it's gonna give you some peace tonight and you know your girls are safe yes Here, here's the thing it's i know i know here's the thing when this, when you call the police, this is public record. They have to request it. So they would have to send something to my supervisor. He's so terrified that BJ is going to get this body cam footage and and show what's really happening here. Exactly what happened. And this is this whole situation online. She doesn't know your girls are here. And I'm going to do my best to see to it now if. Nobody's trying to hurt these girls or get to these girls. That it makes no sense. That's very public. If she gets admitted, well, for from the public tonight, side, we don't know what. Mom well, they're going to paint us all as conspiracy so theorists, stalkers, that. so that way, you know, we look crazy. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're going to do that. I still have to do a police report. I, I have to because she pulled her hair out. She told you all those things, but so she, we will have to put her in handcuffs, all those things. But we're going to take her to the hospital. Um, and I'll probably call, I'm going to have an ambulance come take her, but she'll still have to go in handcuffs because she's still technically in our custody because she committed a felony. 
Um, she committed a felony. The way that works is they will call you, and if you choose not to press charges against her, she won't get charged with it. Um, that's not necessarily the truth, but I think it's going to take some money. I understand where it's coming from. I'm a mother myself, so I, I understand. Uh, but I think that both of your girls need this very, very bad. They've gone through a lot between that and the medication and the world we live in. It, it's messed with your girls pretty bad. Okay. And I know you're doing your best, so we're going to try to get taken care of. I'm going to have to bring a paper in, and I need you to write out everything that happened. You have, and you have to put in there. Paperwork. The statements that she's saying that about the technology tracking her, all those those um, kind of psychotic episodes that she's having, I need you to put in there very descriptively what she's saying. Why is she, she telling her what to write? Paper and say yeah. she's telling her to say what happened. So she's coaching her. Okay. So that's that's why it's imperative Allegedly. that in your mm -hmm. in your statement you put in there all the things that she was saying that were just kind of outlandish. Okay. I'm going to bring that in. Bring those outlines like the okay. trafficking and the other bad stuff. Where are we going, officer? Now, from what I, how I understand how it works is it's going to go to the state's attorney's office, and the state's attorney decides if they can press charges or not. Okay. Because in this situation, it's kind of weird because the mom was like it's a mental health situation. And I think that mental health situation in the EOD portrays more towards the conservatorship than the going to jail. I think getting conservatorship is easier to a mental institution. So that's why mom has been uh, how told to make it set up like that. And what happened there? The cop went outside, did something, come right back in. What's the sign language? Statement. Huh? Yes, press the camera. Um, I know she's telling me the camera and the paperwork. The witness statement, not so much. Um, don't want to go in and sing. It just means that they're part of She's going to come in. We're going to go in. And we're going that route. And then I'm going to ride up. Maybe standing around and do good, good stuff. Not what I said? Okay. Well, technically it does. Yes, but camera, third party, all the cases. Poor Dahlia. This isn't right at all. This is how they steal your rights. They put you in conservatorship. This is what they've done to Bam, to Brittany. All of them. I think this is more of a standing around. You see her checking her nails and shit like that. Her nails are so ugly, too. Put it on two times speed. See where we go. Checks her phone. Makes her start to have to call her back. I think the next scene is them filling out the paperwork. Yeah, I want to go to that. This is just them standing around, guys. Yeah, trust she us. Yeah, Dahlia a bottle of water. Go I mean, skip ahead. Yeah, I might put a little picture to pop up for me to see where I'm at. Okay. The officer goes, does go get her a bottle of water at least. That officer's back in there. He's doing something with her. I guess he's doing something with her. 
why is it the female officer being more compassionate and more listening to her? I mean, if they say she has CPTSD, I have that, and I would have felt way more comfortable with a female officer. Sound like Dolly has been choked. She's coughing so much. She was probably hysterical. And the mom still sounds fine. Okay, mom. Her officer just got her bottle of water. The officer's doing a bottle of water. These rooms creep me out that there's just no stuff. And she's still out paper and it's kind of, I don't know how much this thing's filled out. But you see these cops talking about each other about how to fill it out. Well, it's got to fit the right criteria. Yep. Get my pen out because I wrote false reports with the four. <laughs> Allegedly. My, my lucky point pen right here. Somebody says, huh? Let's see if now we got the the captioning on it saying this stuff pops up. Before we didn't have that. That is so true. Because yeah, sometimes it'll pick up things that you can't hear with your with your ear. Yeah, stick in the kitchen. The dish soap. The counters are clean. There's like, nothing on the fucking counters. There's nothing back in that back corner in the washroom. One pot on the stove. Nothing on our refrigerator, no magnets, no notes. It's almost like an extended stay hotel thing, you know, where everything's just blank. You know, it does look like an extended stay hotel when they when they walk up to it. But I mean, there's no identifying anything, you know, if there was filming going on, it's it's great for that. Where another Mr. Cop go? Come back, Mr. Cop. We want you to talk. See what y'all talked about like you did before. They start whispering to each other about something. Yeah, I wish. I hope it picks it up because I was so trying to hear she that. She looked at her phone again. Probably looked at the dates. Right faster. I have such a hard time writing in. I've done it so often. Much growing up, it just hurts my hand. Wait, wait. Hey, where did that laptop come from? Why is that laptop sitting there? She's probably got to communicate. Does that look like Gmail? It looks like Gmail to me pops up. Like she's been emailing somebody. Hmm. Hmm. Dane How is it legally? Why is she giving two different spellings for this? Oh, yeah, the multiple spellings to the girl's name. Maybe she thinks nobody will find it that way. Yeah, that's what that's what the speculation is, that, that they we're trying to hide a bunch of... Maybe that's what she just got. Maybe that's what the email was about. Mm -hmm. Make sure you make sure you misspell the I names. I think the email's about what to put in that report. And she's going out that report. I mean, they did the same thing to Bam. They did the same thing to Amanda Rabb, allegedly. No but idea. you guys could watch some of that footage for yourselves and do a deep dive on it. It's basically the same she, formula. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what she's doing on the floor. Oh, ain't no back in there yet. What are you checking on your phone, go girl? What's up? My brother, Mr. Officer, come back. Can y'all whisper at each other again? Please come back, dude. I'm not going to take the time to blow that up to figure out what she's right. We will later, though. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be hard to do. It gets blurry when you the more you try to do that. Should we <coughs> skip ahead? 
I try to see if that dude comes back sometime soon. <coughs> Let's see where I'm at here. Yeah, I think he shows. Oh, wait. That's him right there. He shows up right there. Okay. Lean so, in, y'all. See if something. He's trying to tell her something. That's why we want his body. Maybe he's covering the body cam. He's got one on. Oh, what are you doing on your phone, buddy? She's got three or four more sentences to write on there. Oh. I barely hear him in the background. I don't know if that's what he said, but the, that thing picked up that's cold. Yeah. The closed caption. They need to get better nail artists in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Oh. <laughs> Burn. Why can't mentally ill people be believed? I had something earlier today. Okay, what did you eat? I was in potatoes and some berries. Okay. Where's she ate anything? Okay. Yeah, I just had a little bit of potatoes and rice. You don't look like it in that kitchen. I think this is the creepy age part. Coming up. Oh, yeah. Why don't you got to read her statement? What does it matter, dude? Trying to line up your own story? What is the sign language? They so, don't want the body camera yes. thing. I see his body camera right there. Because he knows that it could be foiled. Uh, foiled. All was just foiled with you. He's still That's, saying stuff. They wear those for a reason. You know, we have a right to see this stuff. Well, now we have a right. Because what, what they're doing is wrong because he's telling her what to write. The officer to herself. You know, they're... They're Smile. putting their stories together. Thumbs up. Oh, here we go. This is weird. Hey, Dolly, when's your birthday? How old are you? How old are you? What's your age? Um. Okay. If it changes, if that, yeah, what, what do you, how, how old do you believe that you are right now? Well, I just had a birthday, but we didn't do, but I did have a birthday. Okay. What age are you currently? It's a little bit complicated. She doesn't know what age to say, because they change it. To say the age That's what they do in trapping That's situations. I have to know what age you, you believe you are. Well, right now I'm at it. Just whatever, whatever. There's no right or wrong answer, Dolly. I, I just have to have an answer. Well, I just call, I just put them on squares and write down on five. Okay. So, yeah. She's five squares old. That's all she knows. And YouTube is not picking up the close caption. If somebody knows how to lip sync. Can they, can they put it in the comments? Lip read. Lip read, yeah, not lip sync. The Rock can lip sync. <laughs>
So was the lady suffocated, strangled, or chokeholded, chokeholded. blacked out, a bacchiotomy? They got to get all their stories straight before they do this. Got to always get their stories straight in the line, in a row. So when the state's attorney gets hold of it. I wonder who the state's attorney is in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's some interesting information. Is it Oklahoma or Arizona? I think you're in Oklahoma. Tulsa. Yeah, they said that. They said that. Was BTK in Tulsa, Oklahoma or was it Kansas? Kansas. I'm so confused. More cops playing. Right? Okay, check out his laptop. She's filling out her paperwork with the laptop. Wow. Looks good like catch. email to me. And old girl's coming up the camera so we can't see if she's looking up at the screen and then looking down at the paper. Wow. I didn't even notice this earlier. Because they know the protocols and what will happen. That's okay. And when she picks up the paper reader, the lady's Linda's paper, you can tell she's wrote stuff on the side and stuff like she's had to change things. And that stuff that she was told to add. See all over to the right oh my goodness. Side. What is all, all that? Because they're telling her what she has to include, probably. Possibly. I think the, allegedly. The person on the laptop told them what to include. I think Lima wrote all that and she just wrote it by hand. Lima emailed her what to write. I think that's my speculation. She said that she counts her age as five squares. I don't know if that's something new that she. Mm hmm. Is she eating, drinking, and sleeping? Okay. She ain't crying no more, babe. I mean, for somebody that's in fear of her life and, you know, was choked, cold, like strangled to death, passing out. All right, I think this is all that I need. I'm going to make sure that I have. Yeah, I think I have all of this stuff. What is your date of birth? And your phone number. Hey, it's Will from Booker Law. Do you have a big Steam library like I do with a lot of games? I don't care about ads with Booker. Yeah, please don't send hate anybody's way. Don't try to contact nobody. And I have all of her information and everything from our previous call, so. Um, so, I mean, she's probably not going to be excited, but we're not going to have IMSA take. Um, so the ambulance can't take her. They're going to take her in a they cop car. They gave her a car. choice. They're giving her a choice. Do you want to go to ambulance or a cop car? And then from there, they will evaluate her. I'm assuming so. But I will put your name down um, for everything. And that way they can contact you, okay? I believe you, Dahlia. I'll bring that back up. <laughs> The girl's putting this information out is being sued for telling the truth about this stuff. We'll get into that in just a minute. Okay. Because she did try to check you and everything. Um, and then this is the report number. That's my name. That's the report number. Um, that's a safety helpline because, I mean, at some point they'll be released. And if things aren't better, you have to protect yourself as well. Okay. I know you're a mom, and I can't imagine what you're going through. I really cannot. Why not sympathize with the with the daughter? Let's, let's hope that this. Let's hope that this. Um, I'm so hopeful. Cops don't sympathize with right. nobody. Uh, Eldridge. Yes, and it, it's on here. And I work this area. That's why I was familiar with you guys. Um, so there's a chance 
that if you are here and things familiar with you guys because now I'm familiar with you guys we're gonna go talk to her I'm gonna ask that you stay in here because she'll I don't want to get something so alright I'm gonna put all of this together Oh, you left them on with the paperwork, sir. See, Where the you? last time the other one was um, getting 5150 or whatever, Lima was on the phone talking about those are her altar switching, but Lima was also really involved with a, a DID community on YouTube that mm -hmm. was making a lot of money, like Soft White Underbelly. Um, and, you know, then all of a sudden the twins don't have, the twin don't have schizophrenia. She has DID. I mean, oh. she's basically in the background telling these people what to say because she needs things to fit Sorry. certain criteria. Yeah. Um, listen. That's why I believe she's got a laptop. Leave me with okay. That's what I believe. We can do this a very simple, peaceful way, which is how we would rather do that. Um, instead of having an ambulance come and like a whole dramatic thing, you could just voluntarily just go with us. And we do have to put you in handcuffs. Just she's so finish. calm and compliant and it's the mom that's, that's triggered and freaking out okay. do you want some shoes or socks yeah I just okay that's fine does she have anything to entertain herself with a piano or the keyboard if you want to grab shoes and food. socks you can or just whichever nothing else I don't know what else is that. I can't see anything else can't hear. no computers no nothing I don't see a single TV in um, the house. No paintings on the wall. Because you, because of everything that happened, there has you have to have an evaluation. So here's the thing: if they so choose, then police station after potentially, but um, first hospital, okay? I don't think she's going to the police station at all. But that's the hospital, thing. Everything. Um, it's been going. I think I've said 120 hours for an EOD. Okay, I, we have we don't have. Any she was saying she was just there at the hospital or messing okay. from stuff. Um, right now she's staying in there while we take care of you and then we'll go from there. There's a there's a place there's gonna be somebody a asked if she's about. going to jail. There's gonna be a police report. Listen, first we have to go to the hospital. So that means like we charges, right? Let me explain to you, but yeah. we have to do um, this peacefully versus a big Maybe. Dramatic. Yeah, I think they're doing a report. He's gonna go to the state's attorney. We, have to put you in to transport you. Well, we need to find out if she was ever charged. Mm -hmm. Basically Listen, what I'm saying. Right now, yeah. I think we have uh, to transport you in handcuffs is our policy. Right, witness said it's okay. from December 6, 2022. But, but it's not a voluntary, it's a it's this voluntary thing at this point. We have video. to take you. Body cam footage. Yeah, there will be no 15 hour wait. Yeah, because when you, I, I had to wait 36 hours one you time. Feel real on you at all. When you go into the hospital. They could have cut through in front too. I don't have some more cups. Just secure the lock. I think that's probably making it up. It's Bell. Yeah, there's some shoes right here. Yeah, this they're about they're all doing. I don't know who she's gonna phone. I don't know if the cop or what. Hey, we are walking out the store right now. It's uh, we're going on we're our way. And once we have some more thoughts, we'll do a separate video once yeah. now that we'll let we're, it sink in. No, no, no. Yeah, we, we're we're um, going to upload the full video without the reaction, so y'all have it. And then there's a link to disturbance. That's surprise what came in as, uh, channel. There's just video. a lot to this, guys. Um, with their sister, Lima, 
that will just blow your your mind. And she's suing that surprise witness uh, for defamation because she went on Soft White Underbelly's channel and said that um, Amanda Rabb died of a seizure disorder, well, which was not true. Um, she case, died so. of a cardiac arrhythmia. And the surprise you witness said that, you know, she lied. And uh, okay. yeah, we'll be there in like to me, um, it seems like okay. Lima we'll be able to switch out pretty quickly. was trying to call the, the medical examiner's okay. office and let, you know, what she needed the criteria for to fit so she could do some other shady shit. Yep. But I digress. They're going to the hospital. They said there's going to, they need a cage over there. So that's the end of it. That's the end of that, that video. But. We just wanted to um, react to this in real time. This really touches my heart. Um, I have worried about situations like this happening to myself because I struggle from mental illness. But two things can be true at the same time. Yeah. I can right. be crazy and I can be yeah. telling the truth. Well, it's like we've seen with uh, certain other cases where, you know, you could be on drugs and you can still tell the truth. It's, we've seen that with the Long Island serial killer situation, you know. Well, with James Burke, the police chief that got um, incarcerated or got busted for beating a suspect in custody that um, I, we digress. Yeah. But also that surprise when it says a great thing explaining everything that's going on in this video too. She doesn't talk to it. We yeah. Please it. like her, subscribe to her, please donate to her legal fund. Um, you guys, this uh, is a very important video and this is just, getting worse by the minute so please like all these videos subscribe yeah. share yeah. peace and love y'all